हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कामत एस्ट्रोलॉजी टुडे इज द ऑस्पिशियस डे ऑफ रामनवमी एंड आई विश ऑल अवर व्यूअर्स अ वेरी हैप्पी रामनवमी नाउ आई हैव कम अप विथ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियो ऑन जनवरी 26 2024 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर आई हैड पुट अप अ वीडियो सेइंग बैटल ऑन द सीज एंड एक्टिवेशन ऑफ अंगारक योग in the sign of pisces i will give the link of that video in the description section and now is the time when this yog activates and this starts a very tough period for the world we will see why this is so in this video so now on the screen you can see two charts the angarak yog that is the conjunction of mars and rahu represented by the letters ma and re in the top left corner of the first screenshot shown in the red square that indicates the activation of angarak yog now remember that mars is a planet of war and rahu amplifies the characteristics of mars whichever planet rahu sits with it amplifies its characteristics but in a negative way so now this brings out all the negative qualities of mars that is intense aggression intense ruthlessness war mangal is also the karak of fire so this refers to explosions bombs rockets missiles so with rahu mars gets activated in a very bad way or in a negative way so this yog of mars and rahu coming together is called angarak yog and it amplifies the negative characteristics of mars now where is this yog happening it is happening in the last zodiac sign of pisces or mean which is shown by the red square pisces or mean is the last sign of the zodiac so it indicates liberation it indicates isolation it indicates the ocean pisces is a watery sign so when mars and rahu come together in the sign of pisces it represents a battle on the seas the oceans the water bodies now it will activate the water element in a very strong way so this can result in floods this can result in tsunamis cyclones large scale tornadoes and a lot of destruction through water and the fire element so you could see battle on the seas you could see battle on the oceans now even venus or shukra is trapped in this rahu mars conjunction even mercury who represents the stock market is trapped in this rahu mars conjunction you can see mercury is shown by a star which means that mercury or budh is retrograde or vakri this means that during this time period the things represented by mercury will also be very volatile for example the stock market the financial markets money itself will be very volatile in this time period so sudden fall in the stock markets across the world followed by some rise and then again a huge fall so the stock market is not going to remain stable now till 31st may 2024 so be very careful with your investments now the second chart that you see on the screen is on 18th may 2024 and on this day rahu and mars will be at the exact same degree which means that during this time period that is towards 18th may a few days back and forth this conjunction is extremely activated and therefore during that time period it could represent terrorist attacks it could represent large scale escalations in the existing war and even new war fronts can now suddenly open up after 23rd april 2024 so earlier when the saturn mars conjunction was active i had predicted on january 18th 2024 that the middle east region would go into turmoil and you can see just a few days back iran has attacked israel israel attacked 
the consulate of Iran in Syria that is in Damascus and many of Iran's army men were lost or killed in that attack. Post that Iran retaliated, Israel could intercept most of the strikes which Iran did through drones. We all know this. Now, Israel may again try to attack Iran. And if that happens, it is going to be a very big attack, a very big war where even the Western countries are likely to get involved. So the sign of Pisces is heavily activated. It shows that the Red Sea, the Hormuz Strait, all these regions will be heavily activated. And we can clearly see that after 23rd April, a big war or a big terror attack is likely to come in the Middle East regions and the regions surrounding Israel, Iran and the Gulf countries. Now one more interesting thing is where this Angarak Yoga is being formed that is the third house in China's horoscope and third house always represents action. It represents siblings, it represents neighbors. So what this means is right now China will get highly agitated and it will do some kind of mischief and either attack India or Taiwan. And this attack is likely through the sea. The water element, the sign of Pisces which represents the ocean is heavily activated. Being China's third house, it shows some action coming from China. And China could launch missile strikes or attack through the sea on Taiwan or India. Why am I saying India also here? Because India's ascendant is the Taurus ascendant which is ruled by Venus and Venus has also gone into the sign of Pisces where this yoga is activated. So China will definitely create some problems or attack one of its neighbors in this time period. Either India, Taiwan, Philippines or some other country but China will definitely create some problems in this time period. The Chinese Navy will become extremely active and on the seas it will create conflicts with different countries. That is very very clearly seen in this time period. So a tough time begins because many countries are going to war during this time period. The existing wars also amplify in a big way. The Iran-Israel conflict will also amplify. You may find the proxies of Iran, that is the Hezbollahs, the Houthis suddenly becoming very active on the seas, carrying out large-scale attacks on ships. All these things will happen and flare up once the Angara Cube gets activated on 23rd April. On the world front, the stock markets will be very volatile. Many of them may suddenly crash. So you have to be careful with your investments especially the European stock market and the US stock market. Now one more interesting thing Saturn aspects Sun, Jupiter and Uranus in the sign of Aries. Jupiter represents optimism, Jupiter represents religious beliefs, spiritual beliefs. Now when this conjunction is happening Jupiter is in close proximity to Uranus. The degrees are almost the same and Uranus represents revolutions, Uranus represents strikes, Uranus represents a generational shift. So what this means is during this time period, new religious conflicts will come up. Religious discord, religious disharmony will increase in a big way. Government is going to face major challenges because the sun is now afflicted by Saturn. Now, one more possibility. Mars rules the first house of the zodiac belt that is the sign of Aries. Mars also rules the eighth house of the zodiac belt that is the sign of Scorpio. The first house represents the physical self, it represents the body and the eighth house represents accidents, separation. Eighth house also represents occult sciences. Now this Mars is going in the natural 12th house of Pisces where it is activated in a negative way by Rahu. Mars represents the blood in our body, the bloodstream in our body. 
it also represents our anger so this period can make us very angry whichever house pisces represents in your chart that area you will experience a lot of agitation lot of aggression lot of anger for example if this is the 10th house and you are a gemini ascendant then in your career certain events can happen which can make you flare up which can make you extremely agitated and angry in this time period similarly if it represents the second house in your horoscope say you are born with the aquarius ascendant or kumbh lagna then financial problems family matters will disturb and agitate you in this time period so on a personal level whichever house pisces represents in your chart that house is going to be disturbed in this time period now since the first house represents the health and the ruler of the first house has gone into the 12th house he is also the ruler of the natural 8th house 8th house represents hidden things chronic diseases so this can bring blood related diseases to human beings it can cause some kind of disease that will spread in a big way i won't use the word pandemic but certain diseases related to the blood stream related to our human body that will spread in a big way in this time now the sign of aries is represented by a ram so the possibility of a disease getting transmitted from animals such as cows birds monkeys to human beings increases in this time period remember mars is mangal and is associated with hanuman and hanuman is the monkey god or the vanara lord and therefore in this time period the diseases can come from animals such as cows and monkeys so if possible try and avoid eating non veg in this time period when the angarak yog is getting activated now pisces also represents the ocean the ocean contains different creatures such as fishes so the disease could also come through water elements and creatures living in the water such as the fish so if you are consuming a lot of fish in this time period that could bring some kind of disease to you you need to be careful on that front also now which regions are likely to get affected by this yoga definitely the northeast regions from any country for example the northeast regions from israel northeast regions in india the northeastern parts of united states these regions are most likely to be impacted in this time period since the solar eclipse recently happened on 8th april 2024 and passed over countries such as usa canada and mexico and now this angarak yoga is getting activated these countries are going to experience maximum turmoil in this time period now remember mars is fire and rahu amplifies the fire so incidents related to fire increase in this time period so if you are dealing with electrical equipment with explosives or any kind of fire related equipment be very careful in your workplace and in your day to day activities now you can see that when this yog is formed ketu and moon are in the opposite sign of virgo or kanya ke and mo the same thing is seen in the navamsha even around 18th may 2024 so the aspect of this angarak yoga falls on ketu and moon moon represents india's borders moon is the third lord in india's chart it represents india's borders it represents india's neighboring countries which means that even india's neighboring countries such as china pakistan these are going to play a major role in this time period in creating conflicts on the borders of india i will not be surprised if china creates some disturbance through the seas in the northeastern regions such as 
Arunachal Pradesh in this time period. Now, when the Mars Rahu conjunction happens, Mars is also aspecting Ketu in the sign of Virgo, and therefore, headless attacks by mercenaries or terror attacks increase in this time period. So, try and avoid visiting crowded places in this time period because such headless mercenaries can carry out terror attacks across the world in this time period. Now, many of you will say, I am only speaking negative things. I am trying to scare you. No, definitely not. I am not trying to scare you. In fact, I have given the video on Angarak Yoga very much in advance around 26 January 2024. The video on Saturn Mars conjunction was given on 18 Jan 2024. And the events as predicted in those videos have already happened. You can see the Middle East region is in turmoil now. Whereas in January, there was no such sign of turmoil. So I am not trying to take any credit for these predictions. But many people feel that we are highlighting a lot of negative things here. But that is only to bring out the truth. It is not to scare you. It is to make you alert and to be cognizant to the facts that are likely to happen in this time period. So now many of you will ask what is the remedy to avoid the bad effects of this conjunction. Now, any remedy works only when you work on yourself. So, first thing is learn to control your anger. Know very well that wherever this conjunction is happening, that is the sign of Pisces, whatever it represents in your chart, that area will get activated in this time period and you are going to feel angry and agitated related to that area in this time period. So, if it gets activated in your fourth house, then you might get angry with respect to road rage or some accident related to your vehicle in this time period. So that is the area where you have to be careful while driving vehicles. Also your relationship with your mother may come under stress because the fourth house represents the motherly love. Similarly, whichever area Pisces represents, there you have to maintain your cool, you have to maintain your composure. That is the first thing I want to tell you before you can do any remedy. Now, in terms of mantras, the best remedy is to chant the Hanuman Chalisa every day. You can chant the Hanuman Chalisa just once in the evening or you can chant the Hanuman Gayatri Mantra also 108 times any time during the day, preferably during sunset. Now, that will reduce the bad effects of this conjunction to a very large extent. Now remember, Pisces represents temples on hills. It represents Devi temples which are located on hills. So if you visit a Durga Devi temple which is located on a hill during this time period, that will also calm down the effects of the Angarak Yoga and it will reduce the effect it has in your personal life. Chanting mantras of Lord Narsimha in the evening time that also reduces the bad effects of this yoga. So these are some of the remedies which you can do to reduce the malefic effects of Angarak Yoga getting activated in your chart. So friends, now the 12th house is activated, right? And 12th house represents the loss of the first house. The first house is the physical self. So, the wars that will happen, the battles that will happen because of this Angarak Yoga, that will result in a lot of loss of physical life. So, we need to be cognizant to this fact. This is a dangerous period where extreme wars can get activated, terror attacks can happen and lot of loss of life can happen because of this. As far as possible, do not get yourself involved in any religious dispute in this time period because that can have very bad effects for you. So stay away from religious disputes as much as possible. Now when this conjunction happens, you can see Ketu Moon conjunction also happening, which means you should meditate more. Ketu is your connection with the outside world and Moon is your mind. 
Ketu tries to detach you from the outside world. So the best way to attain that is to meditate on Ganesha. So if you do the remedies suggested, if you worship Lord Ganesha in this time period, then this yoga cannot harm you in any way. So friends, the point I am trying to convey is this yoga is definitely going to create incidents related to fire, attacks via the sea, oceans, missile strikes, drone attacks, all these things are going to happen. New war fronts will also open once this conjunction is activated and there will be a lot of disturbance in the world. So be cognizant of this fact. Take care of yourself, your family, keep enough cash with you and make sure that you don't get into any unwanted dispute in this time period because it can flare up to extreme levels. In this time, the army, the treatment of POW prisoners will also be very ruthless. So friends, all I wanted to do is to alert you that this conjunction of Mars and Rahu that is the Angarak Yoga is getting activated and it is bound to create large scale disturbances at world level as well as at a personal level in the house which Pisces represents in your chart. So friends for any queries write to us at astrosivaworld at yahoo.com and we will be glad to assist you. Know more about us visit our website astroseva.tripod.com. So friends thanks a lot. Bye. Take care and stay safe.